Do you want to allow someone to add multiple text boxes to answer questions on your form? Well, that is possible with a dynamic text box. Let me show you our widget right now. Welcome to Job Form. My name is George, and I'm going to show you how to use the dynamic text box widget. It's super useful when you want to allow users to add multiple text boxes to answer a question that has multiple answers. Now, in another case scenario would be to add multiple text boxes, but in this case, you give them the option to add and remove text boxes with this widget. So let's get started. This is my dashboard, and we're going to get started with a brand new form. So let's go ahead and create a form, and we're going to start from scratch. Let's use classic form for this. And in this case, we're going to go into our add form elements. We're going to go into widgets. And in widgets, we're going to find this widget, dynamic text box. Let's go ahead and drag it inside of here. And you're going to see that we're going to be able to add our own question in the beginning. So let's go ahead and add, some, add a question that's simple. So in this case, the question is going to be, what are your favorite colors? Now, it could be multiple colors. I mean, I might like five, three, two colors. And I want to give the users the option to add multiple text boxes if needed. Now, in another case scenario, like I mentioned before, we would have to add multiple text boxes and maybe you don't need as many or maybe you need more. And in this case, you give them the option. Now, for the options here on the right, we have the option to add the default fields. So in this case, let's just say that three might be the minimum. So we have three boxes here. And then we have the add text to the button. So in this case, for now, it says add row. We could say add more text boxes. Here we go. Or it could say add more answers. Okay, we're going to keep it like that. And then the size 25, we'll keep it as it is. The button color, maybe blue is not the color that we want to use. Maybe it's going to be green to keep it kind of similar like what we have already. Or maybe we want to add something like purple because our branding is a little bit more purplish. Then you have the option to do that. We can use the count text boxes and we're going to update the widget. Now, there's also options for the alignment for this. So you have the alignment to the left. We can do it center. Maybe that looks a little bit better. And yes, I'll use center for this. There's a label option to enable or disable it if you, in case you don't need it. The label alignment will send to the right, for example. We can change the width, the height, and make it required or not. In this case, I will make it required. We added that little star to notify users that it's required. Let's go ahead and test and preview this form. Okay, here we go. Like I said, right now there's three options for here. So it could be yellow, green, blue, and I have another option here. So I'll just add more answers. So in this case, I'm going to say gray. And it's pretty cool that we have this option to add or remove these text boxes. Here we go. Let's go ahead and remove this. Maybe it's just yellow. So I'm going to submit it. It's just yellow that I like. So it's a really great way to add multiple text boxes without having to add a bunch of the text boxes. Let me show you the alternative. So if we go to the basic elements, we're going to go into short text. Maybe you want to add a question and we're going to add several of these. So multiple text boxes that can be an option or maybe another option could be a drop down with multiple questions or single choice or multiple choice. We have to pre-populate the colors in this case. So this makes it really useful to give the users the option to add as many answers as they need. So it's a great widget to add to your forms. Like I said, it's dynamic text box widget. So go ahead and check it out. More details will be in the description. And don't forget to let us know what you think about this widget. And please let us know what you think about this widget. And don't forget to subscribe, like, and hit that little bell notification so it notifies you when new videos come out. And that's a wrap.